We are live. We are recording. We're live. Okay. All right. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the new video for this week. Um, yep. It's Alok here from High Level Freaks Pat. with Pat. <clears throat> and we are the crazy guys who come up with some crazy good stuff for you guys. So uh, what do we have today, Pat? Um, let's see. We are going to show people how to use the pop-up in High Level, either in your um, website or in your funnels. But um, we're going to show you how to use different chunks of content in the exact same pop-up. So um, yeah. I know you were asking me kind of like the, the use case of this thing was like, well, why would somebody do this? I do right. it all the time. Like, actually, let me show you. Um, this is, uh, let me see, AI. This is my, 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 oh, oops. Yep. I got to go uh, review genius. There we go. Correct. I can't remember what I was doing. There we go. I just, I, just put it on a brand new website. So this thing here, like this is my my client facing site where I'm I'm offering a demo and then I'm also letting somebody buy something, right? So they click the first button, they get a they get a form in the pop-up. Yeah. And then if we go all the way down and we're gonna buy, you notice I hit the pop-up. Now it's an order form. How did I do it? Magic. But magic. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna give you that magic. We're gonna show you how that works. So that's kind of a use case there. So if you want to show multiple things i even have in a i even have it a pop-up i've got it where it'll actually do like a uh, like a homebrew kind of slideshow sort of a thing inside high level pop-up and we're going to do that down the road as well that will also Correct. be a tutorial and you'll be able to download that and use it too <clears throat> yeah. but that is kind of the use case for why you want multiple things in the pop-up because high level gives us one pop-up and then if you want to use it for multiple things well you got to kind of code yourself a little bit of a uh, of a solution for it. So yeah. So basically, done. so basically, if you imagine you have your own SaaS website and you you will either have to create three different payment pages for three different plans, or mm -hmm. how about you just have three different elements in the pop up, and then Bingo. when someone buys the basic plan for ninety seven dollars, you click on that and just opens up a pop up with the product with the checkout form just for that ninety seven dollar product. If they click on yeah. the second plan, it would open another form uh, with, uh, sorry, payment form with the second plan and the likewise. Yeah. So it's the same pop-up, but you're adding three or four or as many as you yeah, want or elements. You had, or if you like book an appointment or something yeah. like that, you have your calendar in there or you could have like an opt-in form. So, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff that you can do Correct. to uh, like, like it really you're only limited by what, what, you know, what you want to do with the pop-ups. So, exactly. So yeah, you know. that's a great use case. And um, I think it gives you so much more power with just a own pop-up. Um, yep. So yeah, let's see how it's done. Show all us right. the magic. Well, before, we, before we dive in, remember. Oh yeah. To, well, the classic you know, the YouTube thing. Well, we, we post this on YouTube for one reason, because yeah. we want to grow on this channel. We want to help you get more magic done with high level so go ahead give us a like follow yeah. us subscribe if you like what you see leave a comment um, tell us how awesome we are yeah well, I mean, we let us know are. let us know if this magic helped you for something but <laughs> us, yeah tell us in the comments yeah. what other tutorials you want to hear or want to see so you know things yeah. like that so yeah all the youtube stuff um all right so let's dive into this thing i've built a a funnel page out here real quick and so you'll notice that we have show content one, two, and three, and then I've got a bunch of junk down here. So we're going to walk mm -hmm. like basically top to bottom, but let me show you what uh, mm -hmm. what this will do. So um, let's go ahead and preview it, and I'll show you exactly how this works. So we're going to show content one, and what the hell? And classic. Uh, let's. What's that? And classic, when you demo something, it breaks. Yeah, Let exactly. me just pause this, let us fix it, and we'll show you. <laughs> problem uh -huh. solved, problem solved. Okay. okay, what problem, was the problem? Problem solved. What was that? What was the problem? High level, sometimes um, for breaks. Some reason, for some reason, the code was breaking in preview mode. Yeah. If you actually have it set up underneath a domain, it was working. That's that's really weird. I haven't seen that before. It must be... Yeah. Um, so so um, show exactly what happened. So if you if you just click on the funnel editor and then you click on preview, it opens a yeah, different link. If I come in here yeah. and go to the, the funnel editor... And then I preview it like this. You're going to yeah. see like, you know, the preview and blah, That's your, blah, 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 Correct. Stuff. And now, it, oh, for God's sakes, now it works. <laughs> there we go. See? Yeah, well, there you go. So anyway, so here's what happens. Um, I think probably what the deal was is that maybe High Level had cached it. Like there's mm. lots of speed updates. And so there's lots of caching and stuff going on. So 
Hideable. So yeah. Anyway, yeah. so here we go. So let's say I'm on a show content one. So in the pop up, I'm clicking this, and here is a chunk of content in the high level pop up. You see, it's got a form and all that stuff. So let's say, hey, contact us, that sort of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, in content two, now I have an order form, and you can see it's the same pop up. We're yeah. just showing different content, and then in content three, we've just got some generalized information like that. So. Let's walk through and show you how you can pull off this cool uh, effect inside Hedible very, very easily. Yeah. So what you do, um, the, the way all of the code that I do um, uh, in high-level funnels and web pages, basically I'm using what's called uh, uh, JavaScript. Well, I'm using JavaScript to leverage uh, elements by their custom class. And by custom class, I mean like, High level has or, or high level pages have HTML, they have CSS, they have JavaScript. In CSS, you have a thing called a class. And so it is basically a way to label an element or multiple elements so that you can actually apply uh, additional styling to them. Like, you know, the styling would be like the font, the color of the buttons, the size of the buttons, how much padding you have around and things like that. And then adding a custom class uh, allows you to really fine tune that if you want to. And it also lets JavaScript get a hold of those elements by those custom classes. And since the builder is a little limited in how well we can we can uh, name things and stuff like that, like if I wanted to get the, see the CSS selector down here in this corner where it says section, whatever, and all this stuff, I could grab that with JavaScript. It's better to do it with CSS classes because, um, you, you, these these values here might change and then your code could break right so what we'll what we'll notice here is like if you open up the pop-up you want to have uh all your content in there and if you notice here like it's only showing because each button is telling the javascript to hide everything else and show that one chunk of content and i'm doing it with css classes so in your pop-up, what you want to do is you want to kind of set up your content that you're going to show. And each individual row, if I click on this row and I go to the advanced tab, you'll notice I have down here, it says this custom class is pop hyphen row and then pop zero one. So this is the pop-up row one and it's got, it's a, it's a pop-up row in the, the second chunk of content, we come over to the advanced class over here and you'll see pop row again. And now it's pop zero two. And then this third row down here has the CSS classes pop row and pop zero three. So that's how we're going to be able to hook into these rows and show and hide what we need to based off what button and click. Yeah. So, so, so there, let me, let me just simplify that. So basically yeah. if you want to, add two elements, you would add pop hyphen row, which is telling the JavaScript to look out for this row. And then mm -hmm. pop hyphen one or pop hyphen two is just the number of elements you're going to add in the same pop-up. So yes. now we're going to connect that to the buttons and then the buttons will be connected to that particular element. So right. if you want it's to add four elements, then it would be pop hyphen row and pop hyphen zero four. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so it's giving it's giving the rows like a common a common uh, uh, class, and then it's also giving each one of them a unique ID Correct. so that I can get a hold of it and do what I want with it. Correct. So Correct. that's what you're going to do in your rows. You're going to set up individual rows like that, and then in these buttons, you'll notice here. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I can I can control or know when this button is clicked. So in this um, in this button here, if I go to the advanced tab, you'll see I have a class called BTN or button pop or button hyphen yeah. pop. So I know that that button is going to trigger the pop up, right? Yeah. Also, what I'm doing is if you look down here in the link, I'm saying link the button to a website URL, but I'm actually targeting pop hyphen one. So now you kind of can see the, the correlation between like mm. the row and the pop up and this button. And if yeah. I click over here on show content two, it has the class button pop. And then we have down here in the link pop zero two. So, so it has to be dot pop hyphen zero two if you want correct. to show that second element. 
Yeah. And I yeah. and we have up here in the funnel, we've got a little bit of instruction on how this works, but yeah. you're going to be able to get this and do what you want with it and modify it. And I'm excited to see what people do. With yeah. It. I'm sure you're going to break it when you modify it, but Hey, go crazy <laughs> with it. Yeah. So in here, and then obviously the last button here, uh, it's got button pop is the class. And then the link of course is going to be dot pop hyphen three. Right. Mm -hmm. And then inside this this page here we need to have something that will trigger the pop-up so i'll actually have a button that literally opens the pop-up but again using all the css classes and stuff this is the button pop-up so mm. obviously this one here is going to trigger the pop-up so what happens with this code is that when the page loads all this stuff sh would normally be hidden like you would put this section here like if you put it in a page you would come over here to manage the sections and you'd hide it. Oh, that's yeah. the wrong one. I would hide this section. So nobody would ever see it, but mm -hmm. it's still there, right? Yeah. And you can toggle that off and it doesn't it doesn't take the, the section away. It's just hidden from the page, right? But what happens is that the JavaScript is, what, is basically watching the content buttons. And when I click one, it's going to say, okay, what, what row do I need to show? And it will decide which row to show and it, and it Show, hides all the other rows in the pop-up and shows the one row and then it clicks the pop-up button to trigger the pop-up so it basically does a couple of steps and so i'll walk mm. you through that code there um and there's really just a couple of chunks of code that we put in right so the first thing is i'm a big fan of jquery this is a free framework that you can add and you can just basically like the link is there you don't have to do anything about it it just loads in the page right the next chunk of code is the code that I actually wrote. And what it does is when the document loads, it hides all the rows and it will show the first row. And then here is the action that basically says, um, when I click one of those button pop buttons, it stops it from doing anything else like what it would normally do. And then it will basically grab the link that we put in there. So it's pop one, pop two, or pop three. And then it will show the row and then it triggers the pop-up button. It's that simple. It's like literally just a few lines of code. That's it. It's done. Yeah. And then you, you know, basically you see the effect of what we're doing with it. I mean, it's and again, um, all that code is for people who understand code, but people like people who are like Pat, um, you guys were you'd be very happy looking at that code because hey, that's magic. <laughs> but people like me who don't know anything about code. Don't worry, just follow exactly what we just told you. Make sure the custom CSS classes are proper, properly placed and mm -hmm. make sure this code is present. You can obviously hide it like he just showed you in the video, hide the whole section so it's not visible, but mm -hmm. make sure your custom CSS class are present accordingly. Like if you if you have two buttons, make sure it's uh, pop hyphen, I forgot what was it um, in the custom classes, but Make yeah. sure you have those class and the respective 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03 uh, classes present. After that, the second step which you need to make sure is make sure your website, uh, sorry, when the button is clicked, the action should be website URL. And there you have to connect that to the exact same number as well. So if you have two pop ups, for first button action should be website URL dot pop, whatever was. Again, go back and watch the video, but you have yeah. to just connect that. Those are the basic steps. People who don't understand the code, just follow exactly the steps and make sure the classes are present. People who understand the code, go crazy, break it, and do whatever you want with it. But yeah. well, the nice thing is, like, if you if you break it, um, you just load the funnel share back up again. Yeah, you, yeah, so exactly. So, just... but that he just hinted that you can load the funnel share. That means we're going to literally give you this as well, like every other thing every other video if you haven't watched our previous videos in the channel go ahead and watch it there's a freebie in every single video uh yeah we, we, we share some crazy content we've got some really good reviews yeah. uh, that reminds me if you have any questions or anything if you want us to make a video on a certain topic uh let us know uh leave a comment here or even better is go to highlevelfreaks.com slash video request i'm guessing that's the url um, uh, yeah, go ahead and submit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just yeah, just just go in the description. Check out the descriptions. There's all the details in there. Having said that, um, we also are in the affiliate game of High Level because we are High Level Freaks, right? So um, we have some crazy snapshots, unlike just the tutorial 
or courses you get, if you decide to join high level through us, you get some really good stuff, some really good snapshots, which you can literally implement into your business. And mm. one, you can get clients easily through that. And the second thing, and even best is, you can load those snapshots into your clients' accounts and show them how good high level is, and you get some wins easily into their business. Yeah. So if and you really have a few, if we've got we've got our uh, one of the funnel or one of the snapshots that we're actually going to be putting out is our easy win snapshot. It's going to be exactly. the one that has basically everything that you need to get started with a client including a database reactivation and a review campaign flow. Mm -hmm. And we've even wired in, I, I just did it this weekend. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. wired in chat GPT with all of your, uh, you know, your database reactivation. So you can generate yeah. unique vi uh, messages for everybody that's getting, uh, going through your, your um, uh, database reactivation. So nobody yeah. else has yeah. that. Yeah. Or they more on that, more on that coming very soon. Yeah. Um, if you're not, in our Facebook group, make sure you join because, hey, yes, we know we are not active on that, but we're going to grow that group as soon as possible. And we're going to put out some special content just for the group, which you don't see in the YouTube channel. And mm -hmm. you should also subscribe us on YouTube because we don't share everything on Facebook group, which we share in YouTube. So you want to yeah. follow us everywhere you can. Um, and yeah, that's that's it from us. But yeah, one thing I would say is, Follow us, like us, subscribe our channel if you can. That would just help support us. Um, yep. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. But check out this particular video, which would pop up very soon. Now we're into the YouTube yep. game. So we will show you some video around here in the screen, um, yep. which would take, which is one of the snapshots you'll get if you use our affiliate link. But we go through AI reviews, which is a crazy system. More than 70 high level agencies are using it now. Uh, yeah. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer system which you can give My it for free. Love it. Yeah, yeah, give it for free or as a lead magnet or as a paid product to mm -hmm. get a client for your high-level agency. So if you're new to high-level, use our affiliate link. You get so many more goodies. But that's it for today's video, I guess. Do you have anything else yeah, to say? I think that's it. Um, if you want, if you want this funnel, uh, their link is in like the first link in the description. You can go in, uh, opt in, and then you'll get emailed the funnel share, and you can go to town and and play along <laughs> yeah all right that's it guys take care bye see you guys later